Oh, is it that time? One second. Sorry. According to plan, the song the song said pickle. I I I know that there's like a voice, but I can't tell what it's saying. I haven't listened to this lo-fi before. That's good enough, right? Hello, how's it going? What's new? I haven't changed my lights even at all. ears yes um howdy and uh, let me let me let me say hi and what's what all is going on uh jordan everything i do takes at least five extra minutes today and i don't know there i don't know like, you ever have those days where you're just, like, frustrated with everything that you do? <laughs> because that's me today. <laughs> it's so good to see you all. Gonna spend time with me and my pimple. Isn't it so cute? I got a little star over it. I want this lighting to be. Yeah, the blue is okay. I didn't mind that, but I'm like... This looks different. I'm also way washed out, because guess who didn't check her camera before going live? It was me. I just figured I'd be on, like, earlier rather than later, and then, you know, we can just literally do it all live. Like I said, oh, that's much better. That's so much better. Hi. So now I can say hello. Hello to Demon. Hello to Dad. Hello to Kev. Hello to Evo. Hello to Mom. Maltar, thank you. 25 heckin' months. That's so many months. That's more than two years. Uh, you, that's really cool. Thank you. Geek Droid's here too. Meowdy Geek Droid. I hope you are well. Um, and, and staying afloat. Hello, Kev. I already said that, but I hope you uh, enjoyed your Pedro Pascal dance. Um, oh, this is this is really good. I like this lo-fi. Um, dad, dad was singing along. That's good. Mom and dad in the house. Yeah, Kate Droid's there. It's it's yeah. It did, da, a lot of dad singing along. I <laughs> y'all are are wonderful. Um, two wicked outfits and back-to-back -back days. Thank you. Uh, I mean, this is actually a very lazy outfit because this is, I mean, I'm wearing like leggings and I'm, I'm just wearing a hoodie, but I put lipstick on and I put the hood up so it seems cooler. I, I feel like a cat bat. Um, you finally know what's wrong with your truck, Demon. You broke a valve spring. <gasps> oh my. Huh. Um, the other outfit, which I'll talk about in a second. Oh, James is here. Hi, James. Sorry I missed you there for a second. I was catching up with chat. Um, yeah, I, uh, yesterday, I talked about this in the Discord, uh, which thank you to those of you who have um, polled your results for when you would be down to watch a pre-recorded tabletop stream. I really appreciate that, and we will be taking that into consideration. Um, but, um, yeah, yesterday, my, my friends and I recorded the first episode of our D&D podcast, um, it's called Escape from the Dreamlands, and I'm playing a, uh, a like a moon elf, fae wanderer ranger, and she's kind of a, she's kind of a dolt. <laughs> she's kind of, she's kind of an airhead, um, 
but she sure is styling and sparkly, so she's having a good time. People are supposed to check their camera settings before going live? Well, supposed to is a loaded word. The happy, 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 says dad. High effort look with low effort ease. Yeah, that's, that's right. Lipstick always helps. Thank you, mom. My parents are such a good hype crew. I, I really, <laughs> y'all are so sweet. The lucky part, D-Man says, is that uh, it didn't drop the valve and destroy the engine. That's good. That's really good. Sounds like a fun role play. Dumb stat wisdom? Actually, that's a good question. What is her wisdom? Kind of the way, I, so all of the characters um, in our game have amnesia. And uh, so, you know, it's like she knows her abilities, but she doesn't necessarily know how she got them. But I'm kind of playing her as being like a little bit fae touched to begin with. Like she's, um, you know, she's she's been wandering the dimensions for a while. She's kind of living in a lot of places all at once. Actually, oh no, it's, I've got um, intelligence is my second dumb stat. Only uh, 11 intelligence, but a, a nine strength. She's not very strong either. Um, but she sure is dexterous. <laughs> reasonably charismatic, actually reasonably wise. Again, wisdom, intelligence, two different things. Wisdom, I feel like, is more practical knowledge and intelligence is more smarts. Sounds like Flower from Ghosts. I'm not sure who that is. But if that description resonates with you, then I believe it. Um, yeah, what else has been going on? Uh, that's kind of it. It's been a week of uh, just, well, not a week, but it's been a lot of rain over here. Um, I, on Monday, what was I doing on Monday that I couldn't be here? I was doing something. What did I do Monday? Oh, that's not a good sign. Jordan. I had a reason I couldn't be here. Was there a tornado warning there? No, not where I am. Um, but yeah, like a, an actual tornado happened in California, which is not normal. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it tore the roof off of a building. Wasn't Monday prep for the podcast? That's right. That's why I didn't remember because I didn't do really anything except like get layouts assembled and uh, check some of my own settings. Thank you. See, D-Man knows what I was doing on Monday, but I don't know what I was doing. Was the tornado close? Oh, no, 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 not close at all. Here, let me see. Tornado, California. Montebello, California, which I don't frankly know where that is. Where's Montebello? Oh! I guess that is kind of close because I, I did not realize that that was like a, like an LA County neighborhood. I had no idea, oh my gosh, I... I had no idea. Uh, well, now I know. Um, and yeah, no, no, I, it was far enough away from me that I had no idea. <laughs> the weather didn't tell us anything. My bangs have no idea either. So yeah, that, that, that was sure something that happened. I know I had to, uh, I, I at least, uh, actually, no, I did put that in my newscast today. Now that I remember. So yeah, what else is... Oh, tornadoes always give me a wide berth. They know better. They know better than to mess with me. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't think anything else has happened. At least nothing else too much of note. So might as, might as well just start playing games before it starts getting too late. Gonna start with Marble Snap tonight. Marbleous. Very marbleous. Get some games in. Yes. Click play. And then kind of once I'm done with my missions, um, I'm not waiting until 8 p.m. Pacific to switch over to Paper Mario. This will kind of just be like, as soon as uh, these all get done with, we'll switch over. Cause that seems uh, like what I want to do. 
So hello. The author I follow that lives uh, north of you mentioned. Interesting. Yeah, it um, the visuals on that were pretty uh, pretty scary for sure. Play three cost cards, play two cost cards, play six cost cards, and win a location with 10 or less power. Okay. Let's just go for it. I've been continuing to play my Lockjaw deck. Um, it's been continuing to do well for me. And um, I did know, or, or I noticed that there is um, a choose your card thing now in Marvel Snap where um, every season you can get one series three card. Turns out, I, are, I only have one more Series 3 card to get, so I guess in a week I will get that card, and then when more cards drop down to Series 3, I can get them if I don't already have them, but it's like, oh, I'm kind of just done with this already, aren't I? Okay. Great, whoever's winning this location gets plus three power at the others. Cool, I'm gonna just put Yondu like way over here for whatever reason, I don't know. They have no vision, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and no, I don't either. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was silly. Okay, I have nothing I can do turn two. We have a daredevil, so they'll know what my turn five is. Hmm. Ooh, a turn seven this game. I like that idea. Lockjaw. Do I want to play Lockjaw here? Actually, maybe. Oh, I'm not even on the right uh, deck. Here we go. I'll think about it because I do have a couple of small cards that can be played in here. Really? They have a wave. I'm kind of worried that they've got a Shang-Chi. Oh, okay. This, that feels like bot behavior, if you ask me. But I don't know if anybody is asking me. I'm gonna play Dracula here, because Dracula will probably end up eating Infinite. My tiger. Opponent snapped. Okay, if you want to. I'll play Lady Sif, and then Lady Sif's probably gonna bring Hela out, or Jubilee, judging by what's in my hand. Very Agatha to only notice power. Yeah, Agatha or like a bot. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, please. Dad, enjoy your lurk. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Okay. It's gonna be all right now. All right. I think I can win eight here. Yeah. Solid. Victory. That's a good start. <laughs> I will definitely take that. Already got one mission. I will also take that. Oh, okay. So in two missions, we get a weekly orb. I'm gonna keep playing this deck. Like, that's the other thing. I, I feel like I've been playing this deck a lot, but this deck has been winning for me. Oh, baby, a baby. Yeah, a, no, a baby. A boy, a boy. Your public awaits Dwight. Ooh, I want to play Jubilee at Stark Tower. 
I would like to give Jubilee plus two power, please. Um, okay, so the cool news about my hand so far is that right now I'm gonna give them a death they probably can't play and an infinite they probably can't play, so this is good. Huh. I'm gonna play just She-Hulk here and call it good. Do I actually can't see the end turn button? You have a deck called my deck now, mate. That's only about stealing from the other player. Oop. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, basically they're only getting Giganto from me that they can really use here. Oh no. Oh, they're getting more than that. All systems go. I'm nervous. Oh wait, now they're. Oh wait, now they're. Now. Oh wait. I forgot Limbo cancels that out. I was like, oh, it's still happening. <laughs> no. All right, send Lady Sif out. Get rid of death. Now Yondu's gonna come out of my deck. Close. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and snap. I think this is, this is fine. Yeah. Play Hella, get death, and then Dracula will get either 20 power, 14 power, or four. Yes. Yes. We will get them, buddy, we shall. Meow, 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 meow. Let's see what happens, baby. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I lose, right? Yeah. Well, it was close. It was close there for a second. Hmm. Again. Baby. Oh, the Green Goblin? Oh, oh my goodness. He's like, Mama, do not make me perform. I am not monkey, I am Kito. But we match. We've got little ears. That look of just passive acceptance. I. <laughs> He's so used to my bullshit, and I really appreciate him. Oh. Put a card from. Put a card. I don't. Put a card. Okay, let's think about the, the term put a card. Okay, Jubilee, go. <gasps> Ooh, hello. Beautiful, now if I can get Hella. Dracula, I'll play Sunspot, why not? Would you like to be free? Yes. Goodbye. He left me with a wonderful souvenir, though. All of his fur. Thank you, buddy. I had just lant rolled before stream. <laughs> and it didn't matter. <laughs> Ooh, they have anime, Sarah. That's a $30 card. Super scroll, which is... Oh, yeah, it has the ongoing effect of all enemy cards, which I don't... I think I have anybody ongoing. So I'm gonna just for funsies play Psylocke because Dracula is gonna pull Giganto. 
and then that'll level up Sunspot, I think it's fine. I don't know what they're gonna play, so I might lose. <laughs> but it's probably fine, right? I'm not snapping. There's no way. Hello? Mr. Goblin, sir? Hello? Okay. Victory. That's fine. Uh, th this is fine. I will take my singular cube. Okay, I'm not gonna upgrade a card right now, even though I very well could. Oh, Geek Droid, if you're still in here, I did just want to say that I, uh, I upgraded my Nightcrawler recently. So now he's slightly animated. Oh, you are here, good. You don't have to be, <laughs> I know it's late. Um, but I did want to show you this before you headed out, that I've, I've now got him so he's animated. Ta-da! Looks to be just kind of like the particle effects in the background. Oh, and the tail. The tail moves, the hair kind of waves a little bit. But yeah, looking cool. I think that one will be a cool card when it goes infinity because since the background is so gray, it will then be bright and rainbow. But then other than that, what, oh yeah, what's new in my deck? Um, I split Sunspot off again, and now it does these wooms. I got a steampunk yellow jacket. Very scary. I got a Tuma. <laughs> I got a Tuma. I, I, I'm so, I, I have to laugh every single time because it's not a Tuma. Um... <laughs> But then I did get uh, Human Torch is new. I split off Lockjaw. I did get the season pass. So here's, you know, Wolverine looking interesting. Sentinel looking interesting. Quicksilver variant. Um, who else did I get? Oh yeah, finally, I got a different Vulture variant other than the one that I used to have, which is, I used to have this one, <laughs> which I did not like. And this one's, I like this one much better. <laughs> Kev says, that is not a Tuma. It is not a Tuma. And that's kind of all that's new in my deck before we continue playing some missions. I will also say that I am very excited for the, the papers and the Marios here in a little bit. I've been kind of wanting to play all week and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna save that for stream. I know that I need to go back to Zelda Skyward Sword and I will, but all I can do is just think about Breath of the Wild, you know, like, I don't know, just put these here on Elysium and call it good. Ooh, you have no Jubilee. No Jubilee in a Lockjaw deck. I am also a Lockjaw deck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, put all these folks just out and send them to the right because I don't want to play in the right hand lane at all. Less than ideal. Face the might of so now you have a sunspot. Ugh. Scorpion. Mjolnir. Uh-oh. Wait, so does he get two Mjolnirs? Jonathan? Oh my. Do all different visual variants of cards have the same stats? Correct, yes, they all do. Um, the only thing that changes is just the cosmetics of them. Um, which is nice, obviously, like it's not pay to win in terms of the appearance of your, oh. Oh, 
Oh no. I'm kind of concerned. Oh, I'm kind of... Wait, who's in my deck? I don't know that... Because Hela's already out and Lady Sif is in there. It's really just Giganto and Death remaining. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not... I can play Dracula and then I can play She-Hulk and I'm just abandoning the center lane and I'm going to hope for the best. I think. Although they might still beat me with uh, the right hand lane. If they play anything over there, I might be screwed. Yeah, might be screwed. Wasp. Might not be screwed. Might not be screwed. Might not be screwed. Okay. <laughs> okay, might not be screwed. Um. All right. That's the best course of action I've got. Yep. We, we, we will see. I, no matter what happens, this person has been uh, pleasant to me, so that... <laughs> Preemptive GG. Big boy. Jonathan, number one. Mjolnir, to me. I forgot about the Jonathans. Mjolnir, to me. Yep, yep, yarp, yarp, yarp. That was bad. Because I didn't realize how much they gave him. It's so. Plus six power? What the freaking. Ew! That's extreme! Lee, good, actually, if I think about it. Because if you have Thor and you have Jane Foster. Alright. Well, you know, live and learn. I, I gave somebody else eight cubes. It's a public service. You know, I'm, j I'm just dishing them out. Have them, take them. For mirror. Wait, Vormir. This could make death affordable. I'll play Psylocke there next turn, maybe. Or... Oh, they have a movement deck, so it, they're never going to play anything there anyway. Of course, that happens after Yondu's gone. All right. Psylocke, just uh, extra energy if you don't mind. That's a really cool human torch. I like that a lot. After you play a three or four cost card, move it here. Oh boy. Oh boy. With their comp. Oh no. Hmm. Well, I can at least get death going. Hopefully bring her back. Cool. She-Hulk? I... Like... I guess I could play Dracula somewhere. Oh. He's four cost. He's going to go to Asteroid. Oh, no. Why am I... S I'm so bad at this today. <laughs> Just watching me <laughs> experience pain in real time. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Live and learn. Live and let die. Hello? Are they going to play? Hmm? 
Okay. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a really interesting interaction. Uh, the brrr. Well, Hella is here. And it says when a card moves here, this gets plus two power. So I should just go ahead and play Dracula here because I'm worried that Craven is going to get powered up. So play Dracula. Dracula will probably take Infinite or whatever I draw next turn, which could be bad. I will play Hella on Kamartage. Oh, Dracula could get Giganta or Infinite. I think it's fine. Play Hella and hope. Hope. The death goes left or right. No, left or center, sorry. Words. Directions. Heimdall? No, Magneto. Oh. Joke's on you. Joke's on me. Fuck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I... You know what? Can't end on a loss, but... I'm getting ready to move on to Paper Mario, like, right quick. <laughs> uh, play a thousand powers worth of cards? Well, I mean, that deck has all of my most powerful cards. I'll level something up, and then I'll feel better about myself. Um... Oh! I think I'll do this, this Hella to Ultra. Words are canonically hard, Demon. They're so difficult. Animated phrase. Even if you just speak one language, they're hard. And then I still, hmm. Whom, whomst? Whomst to level? I have 300? Okay, I could do somebody with a purple border. Doc Ock, I don't play a lot, but Doc Ock did just get enough boosters to put him over the edge, and so I say, why not? Cool. Collector's Reserve. That is the last pool three card that I currently needed in Marvel Snap. So I guess thank you, video game. I guess. Could have just gotten for free in a week, but all right. All right, at least one more game, at least one more. I do have Lady Sif, Death, and Hella all in my hand, so that's good. <gasps> you don't have a Green Goblin now. <laughs> After turn four, swap the position of each location. Okay. So I may as well just play Lady Sif wherever because it, it, it won't matter. Person with Colossus profile pick plays Colossus. More at 11. Now, this is what concerns me, right? Jubilee, pull somebody good for me, please. Please. Otherwise, it's going to be a very awkward turn five for me. So pretty. Solid.
Wait. 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 <laughs> oh, and Yondu. I forgot about Starlight Citadel. Yondu's all there by his, by his lonesome. <laughs> um... I'm gonna play Dracula. I don't really have any better options. Uh, the question is where? Probably here, I don't know. We have Sarah in this deck? What is this? Ooh, unfortunately, there's a lot of one cost cards that Dracula could be, so I will play Hella here and then just hope. Oh, I'm gonna snap. I'm probably gonna lose another four and then, you know, just silently collapse in on myself like a dying star. Yes. Good enough? Enough said, Bob. All three lanes. Okay. Victory. Okay, we can play Paper Mario now. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I've been humbled. I am ready. All right, let me get that set up. Oh, hey, love the hoodie. La hoodie. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate your appreciation. Hello, Akodoroku. Good evening. Pepper Mario. The thousand year door. The door of a thousand years. Let me get that set up. On the plus, D-Man says, dying stars usually go super big and de devour a bunch of the planets in their gravity pull. So not all bad. That's a good way of looking at it. Oop. Ah! Dropping things. Sleep well. Have a, have lovely dreams. Oh, you get to go see John Wick tomorrow. That's exciting. I hope it's good, and I hope you have a great time. Now, where was it in here? I think. I think we're, I think I'm getting it. I think we're okay. Here, one second. I did update my game to Paper Mario 2, so we should be good. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is good, this is good, this is good. Capras. Change this. Just got a few things to hide real quick. And I think I just need to change one more thing. Aha. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this the thing? Yes, you can see that. You can hear that. Yay! It seems the save file is here. I launched a game successfully with no problems. It's right where I left it. I, I couldn't be freaking happier. Over the heckin' Mooma. Okay. Uh, when last we played, so we made it into Hooktail's castle. We uh, found what was not Koops's father, and then we found a room in which we could save. I already did everything in here, I think. Can I go in this door though? Oh! 
Oh, definitely gotta hit the paratroopa in the back. Now that they're down. So stylish. Very proud that I've like successfully hit all of those style points. Aside from that one. <laughs> one of these days I'm gonna get that. I wonder if there's like a set timing to hit. I don't know. Like if I listened for X amount of like frames or beats or beeps. Oh. I was gonna say, I don't think jumping on these guys does anything. I will say, so for those of you who have played this game before, do you have a favorite chapter and why is it chapter three? <laughs> Because hands down, uh, that's my personal favorite, is the one where we essentially get to become uh, <laughs> like a fighter. <gasps> oh, yes. What does this do? Ah! There we go. I do need a key for this. What the heck? Hey, guess. It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. <laughs> but it sure is fun singing people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I, w I was wondering if you could let me out of, the out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? <laughs> really? Like, wait, wait, uh, wait in a box and curse folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I... I would do no such thing, but that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. So I don't have that key yet, correct? I think I still have to go find it. Oh, it's in here. Oh, and I can, I can do this for now. There's the key, and now we gotta run. Um, Mario? Look at that! Oh, I don't like the look at this! Come on, run! I think the maze goes this way, no? Oh, frick, no it doesn't. It's the other way! Plenty of time until our impending doom. There is a bombable wall in there. Don't let me forget about that later. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Whew. Okay, we got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. Hey there. Boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fools! Flashing lights warning. Well, I only in the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Here comes the flashing lights momentarily. 
There we go. They should be done for now. Wee! Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. This is my favorite thing. Wait, I was holding it. Do I have to just wait until... Okay, yes. Just look at yourself, how embarrassing for you. <laughs> Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. Perfect. Ta-da! And I... Is that the one that I need for Hooktail? That is the one I need, because that kind of vaguely sounds like crickets. Wait, can I not jump out this window? Dang it. Now, this away. Oh, yes, that's it. Um, There's one other, like, grate earlier in the castle. Hello, Nicholas. Good evening. Happy Wednesday to you. There it is. I do like that your companions can also like go sideways with you. Castle key. I was jumping Mario in time with the beat there. <laughs> or with the music. You could say the partners were also cursed by the evil spirit. You sure could. I guess they are in our, you know, they're in our group. I think that's the key that I need, but first... Oh yeah, that's right, that's a ledge. I gotta... Here we go. What's my health at? Isn't there a way to just see it? Oh yeah, there we go. I don't think I need to spend six coins right now, frankly. Oops, star piece. I love the paper effects in this. Like, it's so simple. <laughs> Mall elevator controller voice. Second floor. Shirts, shoes, and pictures of Jordan's cats. Oh, we gotta go this way. It goes both ways. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> there, there we go. Genuinely, like, making or playing this game, again, makes me really happy. So those of you who are hanging out for this tonight... Oh, frick! Shit. <laughs> Just want to say... You have my continued gratitude, seriously. Hee <laughs> hee both ways, exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, always love pictures of Dwight. I should share more of them for you. I, I haven't taken a ton lately, I feel like. There, for good measure. You gotta always double tap the undead. Make sure they stay... The dead kind of undead. I didn't think that one was real, it was. <laughs> Mouse is here. <laughs> the best kind of undead is a dead undead. That's correct. According to your cleric of the grave. <laughs> <laughs> I love grave clerics. They're so cool. You go in waves of taking pictures of Bruce and Hella. Oh yeah, for sure. 
I mean, I took a small video of uh, Jimmy earlier today, but it was just to show, uh, show like how intense and suddenly the rain had come in uh, where I live. Because he was kind of like, you know, just looking out the window at it. But that was, uh, that, that was not, I don't know if, I, it, it's not, it's not worthy of sharing, you know? It was literally just like, hello person I know, do you want to see the rain? Mouse, I hope you're having a decent night. Oh, speaking of mice. <gasps> huh? Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Uh, hey, who are you? Me? Why, well, Miss Mouse, the globe trotting thief. Hard to me, sweetie. I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Is her tail a heart? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Your students call you Miss Mouse? Oh, that's cute. Uh, well, you see, we're, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, uh, Crystal Star. So I don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Darn! Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this crystal star first, and I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. Uh, hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know. It's sad. We just met, and already this time to say farewell. Alas... Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you beat Hooktail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already, maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend fighting that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. I love Miss Mouse. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Jordan, hypothetical question. Let's say you got to do a Paper Mario-esque adventure where your mods are your partners. What Mario enemies do you see each of your mods based on? Oh. Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, for those of you still in here, I will let you gladly self-report. Um. <gasps> Mouse Blanca. Hi, Centaur Fold. Good evening. Um, also, Shadow Alicorn says, if we were talking D&D, I recently found a reasonable healer build, Halfling's Mark of Healing, and Divine Soul Sorceress. Ooh, I like that combination. That's exciting. I, I've never, like, I've never, that's not a, wait, I've never played a sorceress. There, that's where my brain was going. Sorry about that. Um... I will say, so I know that our shadow mod, the body electric, uh, I he, I think, would say that he's probably uh, a shy guy. <laughs> I don't I don't know about the rest of, of the mods. But that's such a good question. Got a honey syrup. Castle key, I do need that, actually. And a mushroom! But yeah, I mean, you know, you got Goombas, you got Koopas, you got uh, flying versions of all of the above. You got piranha plants, you got booze. I do like booze. That sound that sounded kind of funny, but you know what I mean. Like as in like yeah, like those kind of booze. <laughs> you know, they got those silly little tongues. Oh, they're dizzy. And now they're on their back. I also just, you know, there's toads too. They may not be enemies, but they are they are toads. I'm gonna swap order. 
D-Man says, I too like boobs. <laughs> Wait, might have missed her. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're they're so friendly. <laughs> I then found out how to break healing with that combo distance spell for meta magic turns a whole cure wounds into ooh, 30 foot wide AoE healing. Solid, solid work. I I have a question for y'all. So those of you who have played D&D, &D, um you know, and I'm just using that cuz that's my most played system um but like, what is the highest level you've ever played to? Cause I feel like most of the time I'm either asked to do a one shot that's between like level three and level five or like, then I've got my like long standing game where I think we're maybe level nine, but that's the highest level of d and I've ever played. And I'd love to play even like higher levels. Post epic, I think level 24 and 3.5. Ooh. Did Strahd died at like 11? I want to do Strahd one day. I, um, Centerfold I know has run Strahd before, actually. Strahd is a blast. Uh, that's, that seems like the most fun. Hydrate? Okay, you got it. Thank you. Well, if you ever revisit that, um, feel free to shoot me a DM. I, I'd be, oh, bleh, crap. I'd be curious to play it. I'll be letting you down, but it was a sport druid and Strahd. <laughs> Listen, it's all right. I, I love, I love my sport druid girl. I love her. And she is so good at being a tank and a powerhouse until she's not. <laughs> Got distracted. Meowdy Saber. Howdy, Meowdy, all of the above. Thank you for the follow, too. A long standing plan to run JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Strahd. I. Okay. So I only know of JoJo through memes, but I I I would watch I would watch some JoJo to understand how that comes together. But I I like where your head's at. Akoda Roku says hell yes. So <laughs> there you go. Strap and make it fabulous. Oh man. Oh and and all the players could dress up in their most like outlandish gear that they have around the house. Oh, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love dressing up for D&D. <laughs> Saber, thank you for the resub. Thank you. That's a year and a half. That's two sub babies. Also, Shadow Alicorn, did I thank you for the follow? Thank you for the follow. Are you placing Strahd with Dio? <laughs> I found a funny build with D&D. &D. I tried a seize campaign in D&D &D with a goblin barbarian. Ooh. I love that you can do pirate stuff in D&D. &D. Or like cowboy stuff too, even. Fury of the small plus rage was funny. Oh. <laughs> so tiny, so angry. <laughs> the classic make it gay. Yes. Thank you again, Saber. Oh, this is easiest, I think, if I... No, I can just walk this. This is fine. Go all the way to the... Nope, there was nothing here. It was a red herring. Ugh. Shit. <laughs> Everyone has to pick a theme song for their powers? Yes. Good. You thought the villain of this campaign was Strahd Manzarovich, but it was me, Dio. <laughs> oh, Jordan, I forgot if you watched to mention 20. I... I am so bad about watching tabletop shows, but D20, I would love to watch because the folks there seem entertaining as fuck, to be fair. Emily Axford is playing Red Riding Hood as a full barbarian slash druid tank. Oh, that's exciting. Alicorn says, oh, her name is Trixie. 
Her sister was Pixie, the spore druid who thought her spores were pixie dust who made friends. <laughs> Got a castle key, and now I know I have to come down here. Oh, I fucked up. I think I could have just gone straight back up if I had left Coops to hit that switch, but I didn't think that far ahead. I, I will sacrifice my coins now. Even though I'm probably going to level up and I will have just wasted my coins. I mean, if the spores are hallucin hallucinogenic... I'm trying to remember... How do I have my spores flavored? I think they're just kind of necrotic. Like, she's very much a circle of spores in the sense of, like, you know, she wor worships a goddess of death and rebirth, you know, the whole symbiotic relationship with, you know, the, the whole, like, class classic shebang. Ow! Ugh! I have a story time. Um, if you if you don't like hearing about hand pain, stop listening for the next ninety seconds. But so like the other evening, Jimmy was being a real shit, and I was telling him to get down from something, but I poked my finger super hard into the uh, into the ground to make my point, and I'm wearing, I'm wearing, uh, I got acrylics on, like, these are glued to my freaking fingers, right? I poked so hard that the back half of one of my nails almost came off, and it caused me excruciating pain for two days, and now I have just, like, a half glued on fingernail that I, I've been trying to maintain with eyelash glue until it's time to go get new ones. <laughs> I'm okay, but I felt so stupid. <laughs> and then I kind of just pushed that just now, and I was just like, ow, 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 ow. I am wee baby. Delicate wee bab. I can't wear long acrylics for that reason. I do stuff like that all the time. I... I was a short nails girly. Until, like... Frickin December and I had a holiday party to go to and then I got like my first set of like fake nails and I was like Well, this is gonna be a problem both financially and otherwise <laughs> And now I just I kind of I kind of like the stabby fingers like it looks like I have witch hands even like more than I usually do you know yeah <laughs> Ooh, power shell. Get him. Ow. I think the bro most broken build I found was a barbarian turtle. Oh, beefy. That's fun. Can I tell you about our Lord and Savior coffee lock? Huh. Get rid of turtle. Because turtle's page has can't use decks for AC, but doesn't say anything uh, of other AC boosters. Nice. Turtle bar barbarian. I that sounds like a lot of fun. I need to play some different. Oh. Ow. I need to play some different things that aren't uh, just like elves or humans. I have some characters that I've built but I've never played that are like I've got some Genasis. I just haven't played them. So Barbarian gives dex and constitution for AC. And a Barbarian Monk Tortle, let me tell you, was great fun just moving enemies around the field to get max us usage from a party. <laughs> Default because of the shell, you get 17 AC, solid. Constitution modifiers, if you're lucky, you can have a 20 AC level 1. Solid bingo. 
it didn't give me anything I needed, but I will still take the bingo. That's a bingo. Was the only monk successful at playing his string? Solid. Mortal the turtle. A plasmoid? Wait, I didn't realize that there were plasmoids you could play. I want to be goo. Being goo sounds like fun. Like, just think about it. You can go in cracks and stuff. We have an Aarakocra in my home game, and I was like really envious for a while, but then my character got winged boots, and so it's like we have two Aarakocras. Plasmoids are in the Spelljammer book, as are Mechanomes and Hadozi. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. I'll do flower power next. I'm gonna do badge power first. This maybe feels out of order, but I think it's fine. Have you played this before? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, this is this was one of my favorite games when I was younger, and I still to this day I have so much love for it. Go ahead and just pop that on there, and then last stand for my partner. Solid. Okay. Yeah, so I, uh, number of times total I've beaten this game, like, from start to finish, maybe twice or three times, but, yeah, I, uh, I've got, I've got, like, my GameCube disc, uh, over in my entertainment stand. Over there, oh, bleh, uh, no, no, no. Damn it. Wait! Rat bastard. Yeah. That was bad. I wasn't looking. I was, I was trying to catch up with chat for a second. We learned really quick that flying is great fun until you're not conscious anymore. Oh, yeah. Oop. Recently watched some challenge run videos of this. What are the challenge runs? Like, what are they up to? Big boy. I think we gotta knock the big boy over. Can you beat Thousand Year Door only using said partner or without spending or losing money? Oh, okay. Good to know that Power Shell does not affect the spiny Goomba. I was trying to super guard that. Never mind. Shouldn't have done that. Learn some game breaking mechanics. Ooh. That's exciting. I love that anything can be a challenge run, you know? Thank goodness there's a healing block at the top of the stage. I know I could have swapped Mario away, but like, eh, you know. It's like, if you know the healing is coming, you know what you can budget for. You can get Miss Mouse in Chapter 2 via some level sk skip glitches, and then with Miss Mouse, you can just steal items from en enemies and farm unlimited badges. I think I know about the Miss Mouse skip. I, I feel like I've seen, because I've seen a speedrun of this. I think there was like a GDQ forever ago where they speed ran Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and I I believe they showed off Miss Mouse early. Who dares approach me? Hmm. So, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier? I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? Hi, Black Rose. But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Ugh. 
What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and then gobble you down head first. Watch someone get about 16 close calls in this game, then made Miss Mouse slap the queen 40 damage a hit. Yes, good. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsel mor morsels should I taste first? Hammer. Power smash. That awful sound, it sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop at this instant. Ugh, I got really bad at food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hucky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Nice. Do I want, uh, no, oh, there's no point in power smashing. I remember why. That's a later problem. Ugh, must not gag my poor tummy. Ugh, so very woozy. Fuck, yes, I've still got the timing, yes. Woo. Those poor toads. <laughs> Stop the violence, think of the toads. I think we're pretty locked in. We gotta kill this dragon. Weaker. Oh! <laughs> Coops! We gotta kill those toes. <laughs> That's right, no feet. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up. Please! I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, to prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your thousand coins. I think if you say yes here, you get a game over, don't you? What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind and yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Oh, no, she steps on you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world or not me? <laughs> no. You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. I guess I'd better. I love Vivian. Vivian's my favorite character in the whole thing. Tons. She's a little too into it for sure. I'll have taken them from your rotten corpse. <gasps> she is trans, you know? Oh, lovely. Vivian has only fans. Oh, this is a. Uh, Vivian is um, a ghost we'll meet later. Um, this is Hooktail. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that Hooktail has an only feet for sure. Now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Yeah. All right. And now we fight in the stands, which is my favorite part. Yeah, Vivian is big spooky girl. Hi, Gaia. This is your favorite Paper Mario game? Mine too. Ugh, wh why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a little cricket? Oh, wait, you were talking about... Oh, wait, because I thought Hooktail was a girl for some reason, too. 
So you're saying Vivian is trans? Oh. Cool. Hooktail's female. Okay, so I was I was right about about Hooktail. Oh, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Thirty points. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Uh, now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. <laughs> Whoa, it it can't be. Uh? D Dad? Hey, you're you're Coops. Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Sorry about the bonk. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck. I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> yeah, te ten years inside Hooktail. Managed to survive. Bizarre. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town, and Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? Oh god, D-Man, you're right. There would be food and water going in there regularly. Oh boy. What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please, take it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My favorite crystal star, Earth Tremor. Yahoo! Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Earth Tremor... Oh, I forgot about Art Attack. I big time... Okay, Art Attack is... Art Attack is so good. Because you just go zoop, zoop, zoop as much as you can, and then they drop dead. <laughs> Love the transition screen, the little blinking Mario. Yes! Yes! It's time for Patch! Prawn says Patch! <laughs> oh, great exalted Grotus, we brought the princess peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach. You will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grota, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, somebody nabbed it. 
What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. So sorry, sir. There there's more, too. See, according to the report, it, it was a mustache, a mustache shoot in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah! <laughs> I see. So you know of this, Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oh my goodness, sorry. Well, Lord Crump, I forgot my Lord Crump voice. I think it was kind of dude bro, was it not? If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. I forgot it's called that. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. What was that? Oh yeah, sure, Roger Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Yeah, I think he was kind of dude bro, is what I did. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He yeah, is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You you rang, dude? I, I mean, sir? You rang, Sir Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. Oh, wait, sir. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence. We'll go get them now. Gotcha. I love tech. Tech is wonderful. We'll meet tech soon. The Honorable Grotus is need of us, then we arrive without delay. Oh, wait, I gotta do voices for these folks. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Bel Beldum. We would have already had it if you'd snatch her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the Exnot plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Uh... <laughs> who made Grotus? Ooh, who did make Grotus? That's a good question. Is finding the stars his real goals, or was it programmed by someone? <gasps> Ooh, good, good question. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. Sorry. I wish I could have at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Yes, the peach. Oh my goodness. Everything Princess Peach does. So good. The little... What a lovely shower. No scopes? Uh, soap scum even. Wow. I wonder if it works. I know. I, lo I love how she looks after the shower. <laughs> but you know sometimes like a little shower is just all we need how 
How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. So freaking cute. Can't handle it. And she's even got like blush. Absolutely precious. And now she's normal. <laughs> Which is also precious, but like, mm -hmm. what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. <laughs> Thanks to you, man. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Just keep walking. I know. Well, when they made this game in 2004, imagine telling somebody in 2004, hey, in 16 years, there's going to be an extreme toilet paper shortage. <laughs> For reasons you can't even begin to fathom. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. <laughs> Also, an unidentified impulse fed through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible, it can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that while you're... in love... with me? Love? What is... love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love... How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness? Fun? I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? <laughs> Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? W what? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. Also, hi, Max. And hi, Pitstick. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. 
if you have any wishes that I can grant in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas, and now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? <laughs> Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? Yeah, Tech's a little bit of a st stalker. A message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay, then. Good night. Exactly, a code of <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Alice for less. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that SpongeBob reference, Alicorn. No, 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 I can see it. It's all there. I got it. His, I did miss his ram stick was ramming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's Jack Black! <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Wait, can I fry my minions? Hold on. Uh, seemingly no. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. <laughs> uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Yeah, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I do kind of want to talk to them. Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. Uh, in that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, chubby. Is Cammy here yet? Sorry, I have hiccups. Ah, Lord Bowser. I have a feeling this voice is going to be very, the Cammy voice is going to be very similar. The the witch voices all sound alike. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <laughs> it's my displeasure to report that Mario the Scum is off to a town called Rogueport. 
Uh, I'm Mario's babysitter. I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. Tr treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? It's on the good world conquered tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? I do. I mean, I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Uh, why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. <laughs> I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic, you moron! This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Ugh! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Huh? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Roadport. What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing besides me? I I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however, the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I gotta kidnap her back. You think that the Crystal Stars would be more sought after with the end game lore? The fact that since spoilers can go anywhere, anytime at all, they didn't need to do it in Rogueport? <laughs> that's a good... That's a, that's a good theory. I, but your grunginess, wait up! It would have entered Peach's room and be like, <laughs> We are spirits to help you. <laughs> I like it. All right, saving. I, that's another thing that I really like is between each chapter, between the Mario story, you also have like the Peach and the Bowser moments. And we should be right here. Actually, I'm going to take a quick bio break and I'll be right back. I'm, I'm gonna play a little bit more. Um, I, I, I am not staying on too late tonight. There will be more tomorrow. Honestly, I, I had said maybe I was going to play Animal Crossing tomorrow, but now I'm like, I kind of want to play this tomorrow, but I will be right back. So just hang tight.
Hold her one second. aren't I? Thank you, I appreciate the help. Yeah, you know, it's it's normal, Jordan, now. More or less. Coops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Oh, wait, why am I gonna... Why won't you advance? There. That's fine. Uh, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm... Well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. My boy! <laughs> my boy! <laughs> oh my god. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I am your father. <laughs> Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <laughs> may may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal sh star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So that means the location of the next crystal star will, will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! Yay! Chapter one is done. Okay, there's no need to go back over here right now. I'm just gonna pop in everyone's houses real quick and make sure I didn't forget anything. Probably. I don't think so. Like, there's not a lot to forget at this stage. But I think, like, doesn't Coop's house have, like... It's like, don't all these things have things in them? Some of them do, anyway. Maybe not. I know about this, though. Hold on. Mega Rush P. That increases danger when your partner or attack power when your partner is in uh, either danger or peril. This bomb is just a tourist, right? Or Bob bomb. Wait, hold on. I'm General White. I am a Bob bomb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. Does life have a purpose? I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. <laughs> Fucking relatable. <laughs> we found a kindred spirit. <laughs> oh God, so bleak. Oh yeah, there's like a warp. There's a warp pipe eventually, but it's not here right now, and so I just took a point of damage for zero reason. Boop. Something wrong, Mario? You're uh, shaking. Are you feeling all right? That's a new mailbox SP, isn't it? Wow, neat. Did you get some mail? Wait. Oh my god, it's meant to look like a Game Boy SP. Oh! <gasps> I forgot. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. You may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I, don't know, I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. 
Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must. They're already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, you got mail from a princess? That's so cool. Got a headache forming, so I'm gonna call in a night early. Okay, Alicorn, wonderful meeting you, um, and hope to see you again soon. I hope you feel better soon. Hi, Griffin. It's a Mario origami. It sure is. But I didn't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal star as well. I do have ears. Oh, ah, there we go. I didn't double tap. Shit. I'll just hit them with a normal attack. Like, I really don't even need to be doing this fight at this point, but it's just kind of like grinding in this game is a good idea. Better grind now so I don't have to do this much later. Yeah, Origami King. Did I beat Origami King? I know that that was when I was playing, uh, like, off-stream in my personal life. Because did that come... That came out, like, in the early days of the Panino, right? Like, like early to mid-pandemic. I think we were all still relatively inside at that point. I don't remember. Um, but I remember... I know I didn't probably quite finish it because the combat kind of sucks for me. I did not like having to do a ring puzzle to uh, beat a game, personally. Like, parts of it were fine, and I was able to get through the combat, like, okay-ish, but it, it was still just like, eh, just, just... They keep trying to innovate on the series when what everybody wants, like... Your average Paper Mario fan either wants this game, but like, you know, a, a, a different version of it, like, a, you know, a sequel or what have you, or... Or I, I guess I should say, like, in the same style of either this game or the first game, but it's like, that's what the people w want. And it's not, it's not Sticker Star. It's not Origami King, you know. Oh, now that we can uh, do this, a whole lot of stuff just opened up. How do I get there? Oh, I can't get there yet. I can go here. It came out in 2020, yeah, that's what I thought. I, I was like, I'm pretty sure I remember playing that, like, in my old apartment before I had to move for the Panino. Oh wait, fortune teller? What do you do? Oh, no. Forgot. Because I know there's like a bunch of different like fortune tellers, soothsayer types around here, but... What they do? Unclear. At least right now. I also know we can go down to the star thing and do the map right now, and I will. I will. I will. I will. But I wanted to make sure there was nothing else. Speaking of pandemic games, I've been watching your Final Fantasy XV playthroughs now that they're on YouTube. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's, you know, like, so th there are some things that are missing, which makes me sad. Like, some some streams are just gone. Oh, I need peekaboo. Peekaboo is my favorite badge. And I will take attack FX, uh, why? Good relaxing road game indeed. Like, you just, you drive around with the boys. What do I want to take... Oh, happy heart is good. So maybe I'll get rid of HP plus. Plus to do. Let's do that for now. That's a good reconfiguration of badges, at least for me. Do I want to go? No, there's no need to go to the surface. We'll be taken to the surface momentarily. I just remembered how this game works. 
Shortcuts! Also... Oh, I can't do this yet. I know what I need to have to do that room, and I sure don't have that, so... Just go where the game's telling us to. Are these things still... They're only gonna give me one, I think, right? Okay, so that's not worth my time. Ah! I just, I love how many secrets are hidden in the overworld. Like, just in plain sight. Oh, wrong button. I can do this? Wait. I like that I can go here now. This is, it, it's not a time for this, but we do have the pit of a thousand, or a hundred trials, I think. You get rewards for doing this. Now is not the time. Uh, good save, real quick. You know, we always need one of those. Boop. Uh, all right, Mario. Hold up that crystal star. I also don't remember what my frankly voice is either. Oh god, I'm gonna have to <laughs> revisit that voice on the fly. That's the problem with like not streaming for like starting a game, not streaming for a week, coming back. You forget all the voices for characters that aren't like obvious to you. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Uh, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see, I see, crystal clear. Hmm. Uh, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. Memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are hunting, also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh, if uh, Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Uh, I guess all we can do to is head to Boggly Woods to find that next crystal star, then. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. 
but don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and ancient treasure. All right, learned about blooper, learned about gold fuzzy, learned about red bones, learned about hooktail. All right, that's my catalog updated for enemies we won't be besting. I'm gonna fight this dude. I can take you. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Yes, I do think I can take you. Nice. What if I actually do this? Like, why not? This one was a lot faster than I anticipated. Ah! I was trying to get the whole stylish backflip. Mm -mm. Solid fight. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Imagine the real life implications if that star attack happened. Exactly. Like. Oh, yeah. Lots of places we cannot go into yet. But we can go in here and we can go in that alley. This is one of my favorite things, is the uh, Trouble Center. I don't need an explanation of the Trouble Center. Wait. Oh, okay, you do need an explanation. But basically, though, like, there's a board, and we're going to help these people. They call me Garf. I've lost my key, and this cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Not, oh, no, 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 no. Or the other ones, Magumba. Massimilian's really funny. This is Magumba, and I have a simple task and some delivered. Fortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house in Rogueport Plaza. Sure. What happens if you finish all the ta tasks on the board? Uh, you. I know you get rewards for, like, each trouble, but I don't remember if there is something for doing everything. Okay. Oh, there's this room with this dude. This guy's, like, a gang leader, I think. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was the guy I beat up in the back corner. Okay. Wait, can I not get up there? So then what's the point? Well? Another adventure for another time on the roofs of Rogueport. <gasps> Weegee! Wait, 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 wait. Well, hey, big brother. I, I don't know what my Luigi voice is. Oh, God. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. <laughs> Eh, who's me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. You gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. This is pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Let's fast forward through it. It is a long story. Can you believe it, bro? Smart, huh? Mario starts falling asleep. Okay. Thanks, Wiki. Is there 
not something? Okay, maybe not. Imagine if the cast of the Paper Mario Brothers movie played Paper Mario and voiced the characters they played in it. Well, that would be pretty good because that would mean that Chris Pratt would be silent. <laughs> For once. <laughs> Did I say that? I swear, there's a... Maybe I have to have the bigger hammer for this. There's, like, a star piece right here. Below the noose. Oh, yeah, the trader. They have, like, cool stuff. <gasps> the W emblem, but I can't afford it. I'm just 300 coins short. Anyone want to float me uh, 300 Mario coins somehow? No, I think they said the, the person whose trouble I... I'm taking on is back here, right? I think it's you. You never know who'll be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfer. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. Try not to be seen. Oh god, that's ominous. Like, I'd, I'd be excited about the Mario movie, Mario movie if he'd never been cast in. I'm still excited, even with the Chris Pratt. <laughs> Mails 300 pounds of pudding. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> Alright, oh, so I'm, I'll dispose it for you. Do me a favor, forget all this, you hear me? It never happened, for your sake. We never spoke, forget everything. And when you give Magoomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Magoomba. So, okay, so it's like, listen, I, I'm not trying to be like a hater on anybody except for Chris Pratt, because I might be kind of trying to be a bit of a hater there. But like, you know, it's like when I think about the voices I'm excited for in that movie, I'm not excited for Mario. Not that excited for Peach. I'm excited for Toad. I'm excited for, I'm excited for Bowser. I'm excited for Luigi, you know. Anyway, I got 20 coins for that. Not bad. There's 20 coins. Only another 180 to go. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Hold on. We were moving along so gracefully, and then I accidentally tapped out. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I'll take on one more trouble. Right quick. I, hey, you know, Griffin, they, they don't know who I am. <laughs> they have no idea. It's no big deal. Are you Garf? You are not Garf. I'm looking. Oh, you are Garf. I have to get you into your house. Please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll, they'll be able to get in my house, so I'll stay on guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Can I get to the bad shop? I think I can. I just have to go through the inn. Also, like, you know, that's the other thing about the Mario movie. It's like, there's not anybody in it that's not, like, a name. Aside from all the people doing all the little voices. <laughs> Somebody s you send the email of the streams to the pre to the president of Hollywood. <laughs> please do, please send it. <laughs> oh, there's the key. Fun fact, by the way. Y'all remember Miss Mouse? Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Incognito. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So what can I do for you? Um, neither buying nor selling. FP drain. Oh, no. On simplifier. No. I don't need to buy any of this right now. But yeah, Miss Mouse, uh... Moonlight's in the badge shop. There's like a... There it is. I was like, I know there's a star piece here. Is Plenty's contact in the shop yet? 
Like, they could have just hired the guy who's been voicing Mario forever and people would have been more than happy about it. Yeah! Oh, a contact lens. I have to actually talk to the guy to get the guy to order the contact lens. Shit. Like, yeah, seriously, um... Oh my god, no, I know. Charles Martinet, um... Is... Uh, yeah, I mean, the guy's... Yeah. I get it, you know, he's not a household name, but like... Not, not being a household name doesn't mean you're not talented and perfectly qualified. It's a role he's been doing forever, and he loves doing it. He loves being Mario and Luigi and Wario. He, all, he loves being all the brothers, you know? Anyway, Graffiti Corner. While looking for badges in Hooktail's castle, I ran into a spiffy mustache fellow. The heart-stealing thief. And, oh, Hooktail of Petamos defeated by Brave Hero. Must have been a tough guy. All right, I got that guy's house key. One second. Okay. That's why you don't look at your phone when you're navigating. And people that never that have never been in tomorrow would still recognize the voice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it sounds like him. Got another twenty coins. Goody, goody, goody. Let's go in this dude's house. Cool. Okay. Wait. It just says make yourself at home. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go get uh. Go get the next world and next chapter started. Because I'll let you know that, that this is about where I need to wrap up for the night just uh, for timing purposes. And I, I, I still need to have uh, have dinner. That would be prudent. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frankly mentioned. Let me just go skittering. Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And, and you're not bullies? <laughs> Guess again, nerd. No, of course not. For real? Whew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Uh, aren't you one of the creatures from Bogley Woods? What are you doing down here? What? Why do you know about me? No, you must be... You guys are working for those X-Nots, aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. X-Nots? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Oh, okay. Those gang of bad guys who called themselves X-Nots came to where I live. They came inside a great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree. If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mentioned it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy. But we, we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... a, a, a what was it? Uh, the, cr the crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time, I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Uh, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the crystal stars before the x ons do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way.
Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. And just like that, here we are. Chapter two, folks. The Great Bogly Tree. Oh, Griffin, there'll be dishes, because I have to make stuff, but, you know, it'll be okay. I have an easy couple of days at work the next two days, so I'm looking forward to a reprieve. I gotta relax a little bit. Get more, get actual stuff done for a change. So the Bogly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious. Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Love the look of this place. This has always been, like, a cool realm. Is that it's all, like, black and white, but with rainbow? I have a week's worth of dishes that I've ADHD'd out of doing. That's so valid, D-Man. I have, like, clean laundry that just needs to be put away. And hasn't been for a minute, so I hear you. Um, I do need to, to wrap up here. Like I said, I gotta eat. I gotta get stuff done. I gotta live my life, but I'm gonna be back tomorrow. And I think I might, I think I might just continue this. I'm, I'm having a great time. Maybe more uh, snap to start off the stream too, but like the, this, this sparks joy. So let's, um, let's see who's around for raiding. Four loads of t-shirts that I did that with only last week that I finally pulled them. Well, you know, again, as long as it gets done at some point, I think that's kind of all that matters. Oh, what are they playing on uh, on the Perception Studio? Let me see who, who's around tonight. I can't see. I've got an ad. But I'll let you know in a sec. I, Pixel Circus is doing Xander's RPG. That's true, I could go there. But I just want to see something real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's go over there. Let's go to Pixel Circus, that's fine. All right. It's been real, folks. I will see you all tomorrow evening, um, probably around 6 p.m. Pacific just like today or a little bit later. Um, but I hope you all have lovely nights and I will talk to you very shortly. Be well, be swell, see you soon.